possibly the most wonderful gift accessible through yoga is the simple fact that it is always there for you. Like a friend you can count on, when you call, it always answers. Through the good times of consistency, your bond and relationship together will build momentum and grow stronger than the roots of a tree into the earth, intertwined and mystical. And in hard times, when you need support and love, possibly a renewed perspective, maybe you've fallen away from your practice a while, or maybe you need a simple reminder of your own magical, unique existence. Yoga's internal and cosmic presence can always be counted upon to embrace you, to rejuvenate you, and to help you find the sometimes difficult next step in life as easily as finding your next conscious breath. So remember this, yoga will always be there when you need it, and will always know the exact thing you need to discover. Because yoga is simply a conversation with yourself, and you, and I, and everyone else, we are all the universe. So in a crazy, beautiful way, stepping on your mat with me right now is also a conversation with the stars. Welcome friends, let's begin today's practice seated or kneeling in the center of your mat with three conscious breaths. With a big inhale, raise your hands up above your head, bringing your palms together and slowly exhaling, lowering your hands down to your heart. And again, breathing in, feeling the air fill your lungs, placing your palms together and exhaling hands down to heart. One last time, big inhale, all the air into your lungs. And now let go all that no longer serves you and bring yourself here, present, on this mat, right here, right now, exactly where you're supposed to be. Breathing consciously, present, in and out, feeling the air fill your chest, and exhaling slowly out your nose. Now dropping your hands down to your mat, let's turn towards the bottom and tuck our toes in a seated position for a foot stretch. Leaning your body weight onto your heels, you can rock gently back and forth, lifting your knees up off the mat, bringing a deep stretch into the base of your foot and your toes. Rocking gently back and forth. There you go. You can drop your fingers down to the mat and try lifting your knees up and down, staying on your toes, being conscious of the movement, breathing in on the lift, exhaling on the drop. Now to take it a little bit further, you can bring your knees up and hands to heart and then drop your knees gently and lift up, mindful of your balance and very carefully lifting and dropping. A couple more times here. There you go, down and up. Try extending your hands out, straight as an arrow, and come up a little bit off your feet while staying on your toes, engaging those quads, engaging those hamstrings and those calves, really bringing that lower body to life. Bringing your hands to heart if you need a little bit of relief, but try your best to stay engaged, breathing in, filling those lungs, and on your next exhale out, drop your hands down to the mat and walk your fingers forward, coming into the first downward dog of today's practice. Palms flat, fingers apart, pulling your chest gently towards the mat and just breathing, feeling the engagement of your legs, of your back, of your shoulders. It's all coming alive right now. We're waking up the body. If you'd like, if it feels good, try to walk your dog a little bit here, bending each leg one at a time, exhaling with one bend and inhaling with the other, finding the natural rhythm of your body. Beautiful. Now on your next exhale, let's come back to downward dog and try dropping our knees to touch the mat and lifting back up into downward dog. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. 
inhale lift. Finding the natural rhythm again here, waking up those legs. This is a powerful exercise to slowly begin to come alive. Exhale, drop. Inhale, up. Just a couple more times here, being mindful with our movement, consciously breathing, losing ourselves in the flow state, digging deeper with each motion. Now find yourself back in Downward Dog and let's drop our knees to the mat and fold into our first child's pose of the practice. Staying in child's pose with your arms extended. Breathe consciously again, filling your lungs, exhaling. How are you feeling right now? Just check in right here. Any different than when you started? What did you expect so far? Are you feeling an internal transition? For a deeper variation of this child's pose, you can bring your forehead in as close as you can towards your knees, giving the upper back and the neck a deep stretch with each breath in and each exhale out. This might be too aggressive for you right now. If your body's not feeling it, that's perfectly okay. Remember, this is your practice. So at any point, you call the shots. I am merely the signposts. It's you who is the guide. And this journey is now beginning. Breathing in and come slowly back up into seated position. Let's take a big inhale, feeling our lungs up as we raise our hands above our head, bringing our palms together and exhaling as they come down to heart, consciously, mindfully, being present here right now on the mat. Now let's take one more big inhale and raise our hands up above our heads again, this time clasping your fingers and stretching up towards the sky, feeling the stretch in your shoulders, in your upper back, and then exhale and slowly bring your hands back down to heart again connecting your motion to your breath and your consciousness to this moment. Beautiful. You're perfect so far, and you know it in your heart. Breathing in and out. In and exhaling. Wonderful. Dropping your hands down to the mat Let's do a little side twist here, keeping your knees pointed towards the bottom, touching your fingers, twisting in your midsection, and looking over that shoulder, feeling the midsection and the lower back, the spine activating and coming alive. Do gently and mindfully breathe in, twisting deeper with each breath, beautifully. Now on your next exhale, Let's take it to the other side, twisting over your right, bringing your hands down to the mat, fingertips only, and looking over that right shoulder, coming back to your breath and listening to your body and what it has to say to you. Would it like you to go further in the twist or maybe ease up just a bit? Follow its guidance and just breathe. Wonderful. On your next exhale, let's come back to your mat, onto all fours, and into a downward facing dog once again. With each exhale sinking deeper, bringing your chest closer down to the mat, keeping those fingers spread and your heels pushing downward just as well. On your next exhale, take a step or hop to the front of your mat, and then mindfully and carefully, slowly exhale and come up into standing, micro bending the knees to protect the back and inhale, bringing your hands up above your head. Exhale, forward fold, palms down to mat, doing your best to keep your legs straight. But if your knees bend just a little bit, because that's what your body is asking for, that's perfectly fine. If you'd like, you can grab your elbows and sway side to side with a slight bend in each knee as you mindfully sway 
with your breath back and forth, inhaling and exhaling. On your next exhale, bring your hands down to mat and walk them to the left side of your foot, keeping your right hand planted. Let's reach up with that left arm to the sky, turning your gaze upwards as well and sinking deeper into the fold, feeling that left straight leg activate as your right leg bends just slightly. Breathing here, holding, stretching, wonderful. Now on your next exhale, dropping your left hand down to the mat, let's take it over to the other side. Slowly walking over, keeping that left hand planted flat next to your right foot this time and stretching that right arm up above your head, gazing up with your eyes as you turn your neck slightly towards the sky as well. You can bend that left leg just slightly and keep the right leg, which is the leg that we're focusing on here, as straight as feels comfortable for you. Wonderful. Now on your next exhale, let's come back to center. Both hands flat just for a minute. Micro bend at the knee and rise back up to standing. Take a big inhale. Bring those hands up, back above your head. Palms together. You guessed it. Exhale and bring your hands down to heart, mindfully connecting the breath and the motion. With an inhale, hands above, Exhale, dropping back down into forward fold. Let's come down into our cosmic egg. Wrapping your arms around your knees and bringing your chin between them. Feeling your back round as you balance on your toes. You can close your eyes to take this a little further or keep them focused on the ground beneath you for balance. Beautiful. And on your next exhale, let's come back into seated on your mat with your feet out in front of you. We're going to do a few rolling like a ball exercises here and mix in a deep stretch. So fall back and then roll forward and reach with your arms. That's one. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, reach forward between your knees. Consciously rolling back, breathing in. That's three with a reach. Beautiful. Rolling back and coming forward with a deep reach. And rolling back one more time for a single reach. On your next one, we're going to do two reaches with two brief exhales. One and two. Breathing in as you fall back. And rolling forward with two breaths and two pumps. Falling back again. Breathing in. And exhale. One, two. Wonderful. Rolling back and forward. One and two. Inhale, falling back mindfully and carefully and reach forward with two breaths. On your next one, we're going to hold in the back position here, keeping your elbows flat down on the mat and giving your lower back support with your hands. Just simply hang out here with your knees slightly bent for a second, holding, breathing consciously and feeling the deep stretch of your low and mid back. Now on your next exhale, roll forward and bring yourself back up to standing. Coming up, let's flow it out with a big inhale, hands above the head. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back into plank. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Wonderful. Excellent. Now, either jump or step back to the front of your mat. Exhale and slowly come back up to standing. And with an inhale, let's bring those hands up above the head. Exhale, hands down to heart. Now let's flow it out again. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, jump or step back into plank. Down into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale back down into downward facing dog. Wonderful. Now hop or step to the front of your mat and slowly come back up to standing. 
With a big breath in, hands up overhead. Exhale, hands down to heart. And with one more conscious breath in, raise those hands up above head. Exhaling, falling down to your mat. Let's bend our knees and come into our second cosmic egg. Take note of how this one feels throughout your entire spine in comparison to the first. And if you didn't try closing your eyes on the first one, take a moment and see how your balance behaves when you shut down your drishti and close your eyes gently. Beautiful. Let's come back into seated in the center of your mat with your feet out in front once again and inhale, kicking back over your head. Exhale, coming back to seated. Inhale, kicking out into pike over your head. Exhale, back to seated. And that's three. Slowly and mindfully is the key. Trying to hold your feet just for a second straight as they kick into pike. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, coming forward. Wonderful. Breathing consciously. Feeling your heart rate rise and your body coming alive even more than it was before. This is the way. Inhale back, kick out, and coming forward. Wonderful. One more time. Inhale back into pike and exhale, coming forward. Now this time when you roll back and kick out, we're going to find our way into shoulder stand by slowly extending the legs up above the head, making sure we're supporting the lower back with our hands, elbows and triceps flat down on the mat, acting like a tripod, engaging that core, engaging those legs, and consciously pointing the toes. Now we're gonna add some inverted leg lifts. So on your next inhale, slowly drop your legs straight down towards the earth and bring them back up towards the sky. That's one. Dropping them down on the inhale exhaling and extending to be straight again that's two dropping down and lifting up an excellent excellent core exercise try to keep the motion as slow and steady as possible as you slowly drop down without bending your knees too much last one as we come back up above our heads and on your next exhale Letting go of your back, slowly bringing your lower body back down to the earth and planting your feet at the bottom of your mat. Straighten your spine and rotate your shoulders a little bit back and forth, keeping your spine straight, giving a little bit of love where you need it most. Rolling back onto our mat, let's come forward, planting our feet, using our hands to come into forward fold. Standing up straight, let's take one more conscious breath we raise our hands up above our head, exhaling and bring our palms down to heart, and then slowly and mindfully dropping our hands to our side into Samastiti, Tadasana, palms out, chest pushed out just slightly and pelvis pulled in just a touch, breathing consciously, feeling the air come in and out of your lungs, taking a moment right here to compare how you feel right now to the beginning of your practice. We're just a little over halfway through here, so let's try to take this up a notch. On your next inhale, bring your hands above head, exhaling palms to heart, and let's lift our right knee up towards our chest. Rotate the right ankle, first one direction, three times, and then three more times in the other, just to let that ankle know that we appreciate it. Now slowly, let's bring it back towards your buttocks. Bent knee, pulling just slightly up to give that glute an entire activated stretch, pulling just slightly more with each breath. Now we're going to come into dancer here. So slowly and mindfully, keeping your eyes fixed on the ground in front of you for balance, pull that right leg out behind your body, holding at the ankle, and extend that left arm out in front of you, pinching your index and your thumb together as if you have the whole universe between them. Breathing, fixing that gaze. If you lose your balance, that's perfectly fine. It's part of the journey. Just come back into it. 
but let's now try on your next exhale to let go of that ankle and find your way without touching the ground into warrior three. If you stumble or lose balance, recognize that that is part of the journey to balance. Forgive yourself immediately. Don't think twice and just come directly back into warrior three. If you need to drop your hands, you can. If not, slowly bending that left knee and dropping that right foot back behind you. Let's come up into lunge, raising our hands above our head, engaging the right leg straight as you can and sinking down, activating the hamstrings, the quads, the calf, the body comes alive. Your next exhale, drop hands to mat, find yourself back into plank, then chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, and exhaling back into downward facing dog. Wonderful. That was a great little sequence. Let's take it over to the other side by hopping or stepping to the front of the mat, slowly coming up into standing, and mindfully and consciously inhaling, raising and stretching those arms up above your head. And with a big, slow exhale out, lowering your palms down to heart, come back to your breath just for a moment as we prepare for the other side, checking in with the right leg after that sequence, how does it feel? And then checking in with your left as you slowly bring it up towards your chest, pulling it in tightly, rotating that ankle three times in one direction and then three times in the other, showing it love and gratitude that we rarely do, for often we overlook our ankle when in actuality we owe them so much. On your next exhale, drop your knee back down towards the mat and pull your ankle up towards your buttocks, slowly with each breath engaging a little deeper, feeling the stretch through your knee and through your quad. If it's too much, you can ease up just a bit. It's perfectly fine. On your next exhale, let's find the dancer with our right leg planted, slowly micro-bending the right knee, breathing in, Pull that left leg back out behind you and up towards the sky, engaging the right hand in front of you. Once again, fixing your drishti, your gaze somewhere on the ground in front of you for balance as you pinch your index and your thumb together. Imagine the whole universe right between those two fingers. And slowly, with mindfulness and balance, Try to let go of that left foot and find your way into warrior three. It's okay to wobble, just as I did there. It's perfectly normal and part of the journey. Fixing your gaze on the ground in front of you is the key. It acts as your second connection point to the earth, which makes it so much easier to balance. Now, if you'd like, you can drop your hands for this next transition or keep them in prayer in front of your heart, slowly bending your right knee and lowering that left leg back for your toes to touch, finding your way into lunge as you inhale and lift your arms up above your head, engaging that left leg just like we did on the other side to be as straight as possible and mindfully watching that your right knee doesn't extend over your right toes. Perfect. With your next exhale, you can drop your hands back on either side of that right foot and step into plank. Exhaling, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, filling your lungs with air and exhaling all that air out as you find your way back into downward facing dog once again. Excellent. Now hop or step to the front of your mat coming into Cosmic Egg for the third time, hugging those knees as tightly as you can, bringing your chin down towards the earth and closing your eyes to practice your balance if you can. Wonderful. Let's come back down into Seated, lowering your back down to the mat, dropping your head, keeping your knees bent. Let's find our positioning right here as we lift our knees towards our chest to give them a little bit of a hug and rock gently side to side. 
massaging the lower back and sacrum on the mat, giving them the love that it deserves. On your next exhale, let's grab the base of our feet and bring them up above our head, straightening the knees and feeling the stretch as we pull them down towards the earth above our heads, coming back to our breath, breathing consciously. Now to take this a step further, you can start slowly falling back with your feet towards the earth into plow position, bringing your toes down onto the ground, keeping your fingers attached to your toes, straighten the legs and engage. Wonderful. If you have to keep the knees slightly bent, that's perfectly fine. And if your toes don't touch the ground, that's fine too. Find the limit of where you can go and accept it as perfect because you are exactly where you need to be. Now on your next exhale, you can try to take this even further by bending your knees and bringing them to the outside of your head next to both of your ears, sinking into this deeper with each breath, keeping your hands around the bottoms of your feet. If you'd like this next transition, Try as slowly as you can to start lowering your back one vertebrae at a time towards the mat while keeping your knees bent, your hands around your feet, and just slowly, micro steps, one vertebrae as you slowly exhale, next vertebrae as you inhale, coming down towards the mat to slowly and eventually Bring your lower back and sacrum down flat on the mat to find yourself surprisingly in a happy baby. Wonderful. You can rock a little bit side to side, deep in the stretch of happy baby, opening those hips. Now, let's straighten those knees again, holding onto the feet. If you've done this sequence through all this way, you haven't let go of the feet yet. So let's go back into plow, slowly once again, keeping the fingers wrapped around the toes, this time straightening a little bit more than you did the last, feeling the stretch throughout your entire back, your lower, your mid, your upper, your spine is coming alive, and just breathe. The plow is such a valuable stretch for your entire back, for your shoulders and your hamstrings. Wonderful. Now, once again, on your next exhale, drop your knees down towards your ears, towards the mat on either side of your head, holding onto your feet and really feel the fold in your hips as you bring those shins towards the earth. You can try and rock just slightly back and forth if you want to deepen the stretch a bit, but be careful of your neck. You want to keep your chin pointed to the sky, not tucked against your chest. It's very important. And then once again, let's mindfully and slowly begin to drop our back one vertebrae at a time towards the mat. Engaging that core as we fall, slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Finding ourselves, miraculously, back in a happy baby. Excellent. You can rock side to side, gently massaging your spine that you just stretched out so deeply. Now, finally, you can let go of those feet and drop them down towards the mat flat in front of you. We're gonna come up into bridge by clasping our hands and lifting our butt up off the mat, putting our weight on our shoulders. This is the counter to that sequence we just completed and it's so important to counter stretch after pushing so aggressively. Breathing in and out, holding and engaging, feeling that lower back arch as you push your ribs up towards the sky. Now, whenever you're ready, you can meet me down in Shavasana as we close off this beautiful practice together. Take a moment as you find yourself 
lying flat, palms out, allowing your legs to fall in whichever direction they may, and breathe. Check in with your body. Are you holding any tension anywhere? Let it go. Just simply give yourself permission to let it go. It may not be physical. After a practice like this, so much can stir in our emotional body. Your heart, it's beating. This was not an easy practice, but it was beautiful. And when things stir internally, it's up to us to give ourselves permission to let it go. Release it. Simply just breathe it out. Inhale. And exhale. You are now exactly where you're supposed to be. Nothing else matters except this moment right here. As you melt into your mat, complete stillness of the mind and relaxation. Breathing in and out, in and out. Wonderful. Sinking into the stillness. Now, if this Shavasana is feeling right for you, I encourage you to pause the video and stay as long as you can here in this moment. But whenever you're ready, start to wiggle your toes and your fingers, bringing motion and life back into your body. And slowly and mindfully, with great compassion and care, come back up and meet me, the center of your mat and seat it or on your knees. And with one last mindful breath, inhale and raise your hands up slowly up above your head, reaching towards the sky and let all the oxygen out of your lungs as you lower your palms down to your heart for one final breath. And in finality, I'd like you to just take one moment here and say thank you to yourself for gifting you this beautiful space in your life to work on you and to reconnect to your body, to your mind, and to your consciousness. It was an honor to share this time and space with you, and I look forward to seeing you here on the mat again soon. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. Before you go, we wanted to thank Cow Bliss for sponsoring this video. Outside of dedicating ourselves to a mindful morning yoga practice, finding positive ways to fuel our body and mind has become a daily ritual in our lives as well. Whether that's through nutrient-dense smoothies or a superfood morning coffee, what we put into our bodies is just as important as the work we do on the mat. Recently, we have fallen in love with incorporating Cacao Bliss by Earth Echo Foods into our morning coffee and post-workout smoothies. Cacao Bliss has officially become a staple in our kitchen as we can always rely on it to fuel us with excellent nutrition. This delicious cacao blend is loaded with raw cacao, MCT oil, turmeric, lacuma, and four more superfoods. When we mix this all organic cacao goodness with our coffee and oat milk, we create the most delicious, comforting superfood coffee that leaves us feeling energized, focused, and ready to start the day. 
To grab your own Cacao Bliss and try it out in your coffee or smoothie, go to earthechofoods.com slash bohobeautiful and use our code B-O-H-O to get 15% off today. Thank you, again, for flowing with me here today on our mats. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste. Namaste.